a special best pizza episode today. We're gonna visit 10 pizza places in the East Village and get slices and see what we like best. I don't know if we can visit all 10 in the one episode, so we might divide it into two because even with Hudson's help, yeah, Hudson, it will be difficult for me to eat 10 slices all in one afternoon. So let's go check them out and get some great slices. slice and let's give it a go. Pizza on East 14th Street between 1st and 2nd Avenue. It was founded in 2008 by cousins Francis Garcia and Sal Vasili. And it actually was located right across the street where that empty storefront is now. They relocated here right across the street and specialize in their artichoke pizza, which is made from artichoke hearts and spinach and cream sauce, mozzarella and pecorino romano cheese. It's really amazing. Very heavy. We've had it many, many times, even when they first opened across the street. And it's really like the one slice is so big, it's kind of like a meal onto itself. So we're going to go inside, check out their artichoke slice, and and their margarita pie, which is another amazing pie that they make. We really like that one too. So let's go inside and check it out. Since they moved to a larger storefront, there's now even more room to eat pizza inside. We love the old school vibe with the penny tile floors, brick walls, and tin ceilings. Look at him stretch and toss that dough up in the air. We're gonna watch Lenny prepare this pizza. First, he puts the cubes of fresh mozzarella down. Then, he liberally adds tomato sauce made with fresh plum tomatoes. Next, it's time to sprinkle on Pecorino Romano cheese. Since this is a meat lover's pizza, Lenny next adds a slices of pepperoni. And finally, the crumbles of meatballs, which are made by the in-house chef, are added to the top of the pie. Pizza is a super popular street food option in New York City. And although the East Village is where artichoke pizza was founded, they now have 12 locations in New York City alone. See me, this meat special pie is. Hudson would really love it. Today, we're gonna try their signature artichoke pizza. So let's watch that being prepared. First, the cream sauce with spinach is ladled on. Next, Pecorino Romano cheese is sprinkled on. Then, the cubes of fresh mozzarella are added. Finally, the artichoke hearts are layered on top.
And here it is after coming out of the oven. Look at all those artichokes. This is the margarita pie, which we also highly recommend. The margarita slice is $5. We had to get their famous artichoke pizza. Here's a slice fresh from the oven. We watched it being made. Look at that, it looks amazing. Look at the beautiful cheese. You can see the artichoke hearts, the cream sauce, and the spinach. Let me show you the crust, because the crust is amazing too. Look at how airy. Beautiful. So as you can see, this slice is amazingly huge. So it's like a meal into itself, which I was telling you before. So let's give this bad boy a try. Here we go. So this pizza ranks extra good high because it has the perfect ratio of sauce, the cream sauce, the toppings, the cheese, the crust, everything amazing. we're gonna visit the next pizzeria not only has amazing Detroit style pizza but it has an amazing sign neon and sparkly little discs I mean how can you go wrong let's yeah. check it out yeah look at that thing it's awesome <laughs> look at those discs yep. look how they shimmer Lions and Tigers and Squares on 2nd Avenue at the corner of East 10th Street was open just last year in 2019 and by the same owners who own Artichoke, Frank and Sal. So they, unlike Artichoke, specialize in the Detroit style rectangular pie, which is made with a Wisconsin brick cheese, which is like a meltier version of like a cheddar cheese. And it's like kind of infused with the crust, like put first, bake. So we're gonna go inside, check out the whole process of how they make their rectangular slices and get one. Lions and Tigers and Squares has a huge selection of toppings available for their square pies. Let's watch a classic square being made. First, they put down on top of the dough inside the cast iron pan the Wisconsin brick cheese. Once it's finished baking, the sauce and toppings are added. This first pie is their classic with tomato sauce and cheese. The second one we're watching being prepared is their vodka sauce pie. Besides plenty of vegetarian toppings, there's also pies featuring meat, including these amazing roni cups. This is the classic square. You can see that the Wisconsin cheese overflowed the pie and formed a crusty toasted ridge around it between the pan and pie. They cut the slice into two, so it's a perfect street food snack to share. So from lions and tigers and squares, we got their classic here you go they cut it into two and this is four dollars we watched him making it and it looks amazing the aroma from the sauce and the cheese everything it smells really good so we'll give it a try so first before we 
and they donate buy it in. Oh, hold on, let's let's break this in in two. It's, my goodness, I don't need that. Okay. So first, I want to get, get, show it to you. Look at that amazing cheesy crust. Just check it out from the side. So that's the Wisconsin cheese. So it kind of like becomes one with the crust. And the sauce, amazing. So let's give it a try. Ready? Mmm. Extra good. between East 13th and 12th was founded in 2004 by Michelle Liano, who's from Italy, who, and he grew up uh, baking with his mom and grandma in their Italian bakery. And he had a dream of opening his own restaurant. When he moved to New York, he found this incredible space in the East Village. It was the site of a former old Italian bakery, and it has a coal-fired oven. And he uses that coal-fired oven. He adds wood now, so he makes it cause like a wood-burning coal-fired oven to make his signature pies, Neapolitan style squares, and his specialty is the La Quadrata. So we're gonna go inside and check it out and see that oven at work. I like the big bell. <laughs> Please. Yes. So this is the original coal-fired oven from when it was an Italian bakery. And now you put the wood in it, right? Yes. Nice. And what is like, do you know what the approximate temperature that... Like more than 500 degrees. Oh, yes. wow. Like how long um, your typical, you know, pie? You know, how, how so long do you have to So if we do? make a pizza and we put it in the oven, we'll be ready in less two minutes. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> rapido, right? <laughs> Super rapido. Yes. <laughs> how often do you need to get wood, do the wood delivered? Um, no, twice a week. Twice a week. Yes. And then, of course, good in the winter when it's nice and cold, keeps yes, you exactly. warm. Yes, exactly. Not so much in the exactly. summer. The coal is added to the oven in the bottom door. So this oven is really a hybrid of both coal and wood. These are fresh focaccia being baked for dinner. They look amazing. Uh, this is the place to be on a cold winter night, right? <laughs> Ah, nice. Oh wow, look, you can see the um, steam, yeah. <laughs> They're steaming, they're ready, okay. <laughs> We are having Luzo's margarita round pie. After the dough is stretched, tomato sauce is spooned on, large chunks of mozzarella de buffalo are added, and then the pizza is finished off with fresh basil and olive oil. Pizza is certified DOP, short for Denomization de Origin Protecta, literally protected designation of origin. As the name suggests, this certification ensures that products are locally grown and packed in Italy. Okay, so we're trying their margarita pie, right? Correct. And let's give it, let's give it a grill. Mmm. Mmm. So nice. 
nice and fresh. The, the sauce is amazing. The cheese, the basil, you can just taste how fresh and delicious it is. Extra good. Motorino Pizza was founded by Matthew Palomino in 2008 in Williamsburg and this location opened in 2009 in the former spot of Una Pizza Napolitano and it has the original Ocunto wood fire brick oven that was installed, it's a $15,000 oven, was installed by the other chef and they use it today to make their special Neapolitan style pizzas and they're known for their margarita pie and there's Brussels sprout pie. So you're gonna go inside and check it out and look at that oven at work. oven burns at around 900 degrees. Even overnight when the restaurant's closed, it maintains a temperature of about 400 degrees. A typical pizza is in there for around 90 seconds and possibly a bit longer depending on the ingredients. We always love to get Motorino's margarita pie. It's made with fior de latte, mozzarella, basil, pecorino, extra virgin olive oil, and sea salt. So, if you're not in the mood for a Neapolitan pie, you know, it's like an individual pie, you can get an amazing slice just two doors down right here. Sauce Pizzeria on East 12th Street by First Avenue was founded in 2018 by Adam Elzer and he specializes in thin crust pizza and he uses um, a sourdough and organic malted flour and he serves like dipping sauce, grandma sauce on the side so that's extra cool. So I'm going to go inside, check out the grandma sauce, look at the beautiful decor because Adam designed everything, even the lighting fixtures. And check it out. In addition to their grandmother's tomato gravy, you can also get a bolognese dipping sauce or a spicy vodka sauce. They serve a classic cheese pie as well as pepperoni, vodka pie, and an upside down cheese pie made by reversing the order of the ingredients. Love that upside down cheese. Yeah, that's good too. So we got their classic slice and from sauce and of course it comes with the grandma dipping sauce on the side. Look at that, amazing. Let me show you the details of the pizza. You can say, see, nice crust, sauce, topping ratio, looking really extra good. So let's give it a try. We'll dip it in the sauce. Okay, hold on. Let me kind of fold it a little bit to get a better handle on it. And let's go. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. The sauce has like the it's just the right amount of sweetness and tanginess, like not too sweet, not too salty, extra good. What a great day we had today in the East Village going to all those pizzerias and having some amazing, amazing pizza. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and share our video if you liked it. We're going to be visiting more pizza places in our next episode because we couldn't eat 10 slices today. Extra good.